Oh, what's going on, Toxic Gamers? Today we got a lot of people really bricked up for zombies. People are shaking, people are excited for zombies, man. And I've seen a lot of people also being hella disappointed too. So I think this is gonna be a movie. We got the ultimate guide for Black Ops 6. We're just gonna get right into it. Like the video if you love your mama. Like the video if you do not buy the BBC bundles in Call of Duty, okay? Bruh. Also, become a member on the channel. So the day we get canceled, we can live to fight another day. Shout out to the homie Dalek. Check this out. There is a lot to learn with Black Ops 6 zombies. So in this video, I'm going to give you a ultimate beginner's guide going okay. over everything you need to know from unlocking Pack-A-Punch, how to unlock secret rooms on both zombies maps, oh, how man. to customize your zombies HUD, how to get free perks, weapons, and even wonder weapons. Holy. Kicking things off, let's go over everything you need to know in the menu before you start a game. So once you're in the zombies menu, you want to press the right bumper on your controller to go over to loadout and enter that, where here you can choose any weapon that you've unlocked that you can right. bring into a zombies game. The weapon okay. progression is global across multiplayer and zombies so any level that your weapons are in multiplayer will also be in zombies and just oh, like multiplayer oh, any oh, they, they brought the es wall back that's crazy because uh, as somebody that played B battlefield 3 in the the old days yeah, I have like good memories with that weapon. Okay, that, that's good. That's W. Weapon w. that you equip, you can also go ahead and add on any attachments you've unlocked as well. And you can add oh, wow. up to eight attachments on any weapon in zombies. Sheesh. Very importantly, you'll also choose your field upgrade. And here, certain field upgrades will be locked until you reach the required level. But these are all extremely powerful things that you equip and use to take out zombies very quickly. You've got your tactical, where you can choose a tactical grenade. Lethal, where you can choose your lethal grenades. And at the bottom here, you have gobble gun pack. Over oh, in here, damn. you can Okay. edit a gobble gum pack and any of the gobble gums that you have on that you want to swap out you can just select and yeah i want to know right like some people are actually saying this that they have patched the glitch for saving gobble gums though i'm not sure if you guys remember this in black ops 3 right where you would pop perkaholic the rare gobble gums right after acquiring them through liquid divinium and yeah you would pop them use them and before you would your game would end you would just dashboard you would just close the application close the game and then you would be able to save the gobble gums and not lose it i'm hearing some people say that they have patched that they have patched that bug i hope that's not true man but let me know if you already bought the game and played and tried it out let me know i'm still waiting i'm still waiting we're gonna see and maybe i'll get the game after this one maybe this video will convince me let's see and you can go through all of your amounts of gobble gums here in Anywhere rare, here? epic, legendary, ultra, ultra and whimsical. whimsical. Now, in order oh, to sheesh. earn gobble gums inside of zombies, you simply just play zombies. And randomly, oh, wow. every few rounds, you'll be awarded between one and two random gobble gums of random different rarities. If you're lucky, you could even get a perkaholic urn at round nine, like me. Oh, Once you're all set, you want to okay. head back and go into augments. <laughs> Over in the augments menu, click research augments. Now, when you first start the game, a lot of these are going to be locked, as you can see. And you'll only be able to activate one of a perk, one ammo mod, and one field upgrade. Once you've activated one and begin playing zombies just by slaying down the undead get Yo, I, I like the the art for at least like some of this stuff, right? It, okay, so energy mine, create a mine of pure energy that detonates three times, dealing lethal and so it's more like that cookbook, the Newton cookbook thing that we had in Black Ops 3, right? Was it in Black Ops 4 or Black Ops 4 Zombies? Now I'm like, my memory's foggier than Snoop Dogg's bathroom, but... Okay, so something to do uh, as well in Zombies, uh, outside of Easter eggs, that is gameplay related. Okay, I like that, like that, like that. Gaining XP, you'll unlock augments that will unlock in this chain. And once you've earned, say, two to three on Energy Mine, you'll suddenly be able to start researching another field upgrade to learn upgrades for that too. But for other field upgrades, you need to unlock nine augments to begin, 15 and 21. And that reflects across ammo mods as well, where you need 18 unlocked in order to start researching that, six there, and 12 for Brain Rot. And the same okay. goes for the perka colas. You can only research one upgrade at a time, and will take a lot of games of you activating to be able to earn all of these benefits. And once you start, are, are these like perma uh, perks from the good old days, but in a new fashion for the new cats, perhaps? Bruh. Maybe, because yeah, if you played Black Ops 2 Zombies, you know the perma perks, right? How many of you guys played Black Ops 2 Zombies and you know what I'm talking about? One in the comments if you know what I'm talking about. Two if you're like, nah, Skizzle, I'm not, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Get mama with that, bruh. Like, I wanna know where you at with that. Earning them, you want to go to Equip Augments, and then if we go over to something that you've researched, say, Energy Mine, you yeah. then select that, and we can see that from what I've currently had researched, I have one major that I can select, 
and two minor augments that I can select. So whichever one I like the preference of more, I can select that one as my one major augment. And then whichever I prefer out of the minor augments, I can- Oh man, so they, it feels like I'm in a science class right now, okay? I do not mix with this with that. Do not mix that. Yeah, okay, so we, we got a whole lot of science right here. Science, bad. Cannot say that word on YouTube. Select as well. Eventually you'll have this unlocked for every single piece of equipment. So you can choose the upgrades. And lastly, before jumping in, go over to operators where here you can choose what character to oh, wow. play as. Now out of <clears throat> these four characters that you're seeing. Yo, this is one of the, I'm, I'm hearing a lot about this. I, I might make a video later on, but I'm hearing like there's a whole lot of controversy with this operator though. Oh shit. If, uh, yeah, if you know, you know okay if you don't know well uh, get ready for the video I'll, i i think we're gonna have there's just so much news but i've seen like people covered this story so yeah right like there's a whole lot of uh, drama with that one well, <laughs> especially with nick marks and you know what i have and i'm saying you know what i'm saying that's just a hint for you fellas out here but yeah in here these are all labeled as dedicated crew operators where if you play as Brutus any of as these well. characters and zombies you'll get an enhanced story experience and unique content the whole zombies mode this year is themed around these characters and their stories so make sure you play as them to not miss out on any important story once that's all done just select your mission click standard play in a squad where you're going to be playing with other players or simply solo and then choose your map between Liberty Falls or Terminus and it will start right. right up. Jumping straight in across both maps. You're yeah, honestly, bro, like for four years, bro, like we should have gotten more maps though. You know what I mean? Like like the like the video if you agree, man. Like at the very minimum, like four, five, maybe 10 maps or something like that. We should, come on, guys. Like we deserve, we the best, man. We the best. We deserve better than that crap, bro. <laughs> now, honestly, we should have got three maps at the very least, bro. At the very least. Your first objectives is going to be to activate the power and get to the Pack-A-Punch machine. The Terminus, you're simply going to follow the prompts on screen that will lead you to three different locations where you're going to need to activate three AMP generators. The first one is right outside the spawn room and is clearly labeled where once you've activated it, you need to go ahead and defend it for 30 seconds from three zombies seconds? that are already in the round Bruh. as well as brand I ain't got time for that. It should be like three seconds or something like that. Bruh. Just joking. And new zombies that will be spawning wearing more hazmat style zombie suits. Your second is going to be in living. Oh, have you got the COVID zombies too? In okay. quarters right opposite the Juggernaug machine where again, activate it and defend it for 30 seconds. The third okay. and final one is underground in the bio lab. Yeah, so this is like the PDD cave, right? That people have been talking about. So you gotta, okay, so for the third one, you gotta go through like the PDD cave. <laughs> There's a PDD island they added in the, the a holy. This thing is crazy, bro. And once you've defended all three successfully, in order to access the Pack-A-Punch, you'll need to dive into the water and resurface the inclined lift by simply going up to this button and holding square for the platform to raise out of the water, giving you Pack-A-Punch access. And on the other map, Liberty Falls, it is even easier than that, where you simply just need to open up the doors that are prompting you all the way from the bottom of the map, up the hill towards the church, and then buying the debris to open into the church where inside you'll have access to the pack-a-punch machine a huge map feature that you'll want to take advantage of as soon as it's available is the sam trials there'll be a prompt on screen of it spawning in in the location on the map specifically named so you know where to go you can also look for it anywhere by looking for a purple beam of light which isn't to be mistaken with the mystery box by going up to the machine you can activate it for 500 points to start a special challenge yo it reminds me of like the one of the trial that we had in gorad Kro Probably, right uh, but that one i believe was specifically for uh, for opening up the pack punch this could similar. literally be anything such as getting crouch kills getting kills without moving taking out specifically vermin zombies staying put in a single area taking zombies out using only okay so yeah this is that pdd uh, island that i was talking about yeah let me run that back out specifically vermin zombies staying put in a single area taking zombies out using only lethal equipment and taking zombies out whilst only using certain score streaks or certain perks or certain traps that if you complete within the time frame given you will be rewarded a special mystery crate with its rarity depending on how much you progress through that challenge if wow. you get a quarter of the way through you'll get the lowest rarity version of a reward wow. if you get wow. halfway it's slightly upgraded 
upgraded. And if you manage to get all the way, the challenge will immediately complete and reward you with a gold rarity legendary crate. During oh any God, challenge no that you activate, you will have a separate spawn of zombies with special purple glowing eyes that are completely separate from the normal spawning zombies. Taking these zombies out will also earn you points, although you're only awarded 10 points per elimination. And the rewards you can get from these Sam trials relay from anything to free perks, to free weapons of higher rarity, to free equipment, to free ammo mods, and self-revive kits. Okay, that's that's really good, but it's not free because you paid for the game, though. <laughs> Now, okay, uh, so it feels like that there are rewards to it and you get a lot of uh, uh, stuff uh, by just playing, so I like that. In terms of the map, the map, I don't know, man. Playing-wise, I have not played it yet, so I'm not giving my review or opinion in terms of that, but just by looking at it, I don't know, man. It, I, I, yeah, right, like, what are your guys' thoughts on it? I'm. It feels mid, though. It feels kind of 50-50. It doesn't mean that it's trash. It doesn't mean that it's great. It feels like it's art, though. It's mid, right? It's mid. That's how it feels like to me. It's still lacking a little bit of the atmosphere. It got a little bit. I'm not gonna deny it, but it doesn't feel like a zombies map, perhaps, uh, per se. It feels like a Warzone map with zombies stuff in it. Yeah, man. That's it. That's the only thing. It feels a little bland, though. Thoughts, uh, thoughts real quick, guys? How you feel about it? And the other map... Uh, of course, like, when they showed the the gameplay, a lot of people were hella disappointed, myself included, because, yeah, like, what the actual hell, right? It looked real, real bad. But now, that map feels better than this map. I don't even know how that is, or I know how, why that's the case. It's because, uh, people had no expectations, even my expectations completely died with the other map. So you look at it with, like, a new lens, without any expectations, and it feels kind of good. So yeah, I, I, right now I find Liberty Balls <laughs> to be a better map than this so far though. Could be wrong though, maybe playing wise this is more fun, maybe playing wise both of them are fun. If you are playing right now or if you bought it, let us know your review. Be honest man, like hey, who cares about Activision, right? Those, yeah, you don't have to suck their dong or anything like that. If you like the game, you love the game, right? If you hate the game, you hate the game. Simple as that man, simple as that. This machine will phase out of reality and then come back in at random in a round or two from its completion, so be sure to take a look either via the visual prompt that can appear on your screen at the start of a new round or by looking for that purple light in the sky. If you pause okay. your game at any time, you have the option to go into third person where you can play the entirety oh, yeah. of zombies in third person. Yeah, I, I like this feature a lot. I like this feature a lot. Uh, this is actually really, really good that they added this because it's optional. You can turn it on or turn it off. That's good if you so choose to. But one of the single greatest additions that they've added with Black Ops 6 Zombies when you pause your game is if you go over to Interface, you'll now be able to change your HUD. Under Gameplay HUD in Interface, you can change the layout to be standard for Black Ops 6 Zombies, classic yeah. to match a Black Ops 3 style, or even redacted, where every single HUD element is completely disabled, so you're playing... I still want like the Black Ops 3 Zombies real HUD or similar to that because they added the Black Ops 3 HUD, that's what they're saying. But it's like the knockoff Chinese version. It's like the version from Timu from Wish.com. It's not the real Black Ops 3 Zombies HUD, man. Like if you have played Black Ops 3 Zombies and you look at the so-called Black Ops 3 HUD, it ain't the same, man. It ain't the same. But I gotta give them credit. At least you can change it up you can remove stuff okay i gotta give him that i gotta give him that i gotta give him that so it's not the worst thing ever but to say that it's the black ops 3 hud it's not i mean get my mom with that bro hardcore zombies yep, what is mom, crazy man. is if you go over to visuals of in this you can change the shape of the mini map get rid of it completely and literally Love that, love that, love that. Transform the HUD to your liking, where you can have weapon information either completely visible or completely hidden, elimination IDs being hidden, medals and notifications being hidden, players and street toasts, the zombie damage numbers, and the zombie health. Here's the thing though, I although I love this, the fact that they did it, but you gotta you guys gotta think about it. They must have spent a lot of time working on this. So it works with campaign multiplayer and zombies right uh so why couldn't they just make a zombies hud where you got this and this that's it why you guys gotta add like so much other bull squash i i think it's because like they nowadays they just make one mode they work on warzone and then everything is revolving around warzone so i think that's the that's why it's the case so i'm, I'm assuming like this is what they worked on 
they, they worked on Warzone and they worked on all of this as like HUD menu and they just was like okay copy paste that in zombies campaign and everywhere right and then people can enable disable and that's that's it right i think that's the case because with black ops 4 zombies you had the hud that they changed the hud from previous year zombies right so and yeah i feel like that no hate to warzone or to people that like warzone but it's like warzone has really really changed call of duty for some of you for the better i guess for a lot of you for the worse man because if I want to play Warzone, I'll play Warzone. If I want to play Zombies, I just want to play Zombies. I don't want to play Warzone if I'm playing Zombies, right? And a lot of things are coming from Warzone in this one that I don't like, though. You know, like, it, it takes Zombies out of it. I guess if you're a new player that recently got into Call of Duty, this is probably the best mode. And I, and I get that. I fully understand that. Because you do not have references uh, to the old maps that we got to play, right? I'm an old head, I guess. Uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? I, and I'm seeing this across the board like people that played the old school zombies generally speaking not true for everybody but generally people that have played the old school zombies they're looking at this and they're like bro like what Por qué, man? Por qué? ¿Qué pasa? ¿Qué pasa? ¿Qué pasa? so they're like <laughs> they're they're having the similar complaints similar criticism as me uh, and, and i get that i understand that why that's the case but if you're a new player this is probably very very good for you right Especially if you're a kid and you're you just recently discovered Call of Duty, this is probably very good. This is probably very Elf good. Health bars, the score feed, and even colors of certain HUD elements. It's definitely worth having a play around to get this to the HUD that you like as it really is a case of set and forget once you have it exactly the way you want it. Now, That's both good. Terminus and Liberty Falls have their own map elements where you can actually access some free loot every so often once you've taken out an elite zombie. This can oh, be wow. a mangler or an abomination. And upon taking it out, it is going to drop a loot key, which will be of a certain color rarity, matching the same color rarities as the weapon rarity system. On each map, this key uh -huh. can be used to unlock a special area of the map where you can use it to get some free loot now oh damn so they got like the pdd prison cell <laughs> that is crazy so that's like the secret this so is they got pdd caves they got diddy uh, island and they also got the diddy prison that is crazy bro. this works oh, slightly God, different between both maps so starting with terminus is very straightforward but if you make your way to the control center where the stamina machine is make your way up to this doorway here and you'll be able to simply use the key to enter the armory inside here there's going to be about five or six different locker rooms <laughs> where you can go up to any of your choosing and decide to use the armory key to open one and depending damn they got the duty armor as well depending on how good your luck is the loot you get might be really good or really terrible you might get some free streaks out of it you might get a free weapon and an extra tip is it seems hopefully you're not gonna get a free hey <laughs> Hopefully you're not gonna get a BBC bundle out of it though. By default, you can enter this room even without needing a key. And there are some standard rarity weaponry like shotguns in there. But if you wanted to start a game off with that as a secondary, you could go in there and pick one up. But when it comes to accessing the Liberty Falls equivalent of this room, it's a little less straightforward as you need to complete a side Easter egg to unlock a bank vault. This bank vault can be found within the savings and loan building. And in order to get the correct Before. bank vault code, you're gonna need to find three post-it notes around the map in this order to get your bank vault code. The first part of your code is directly opposite the bank vault, and it's going to be on this table here on this yellow sticky note. 42. The second part of your code is going to be found in Ollie's comics, directly in the middle of the room behind the main counter. You climb over 54. and crouch, you'll see the post-it note of the second part of your code. And the third and final part of your code is going to be in Fuller's Liberty Lanes. Make your way up to this counter and shoot this bucket, and it's going to reveal the post-it note with the third part of your code. 16. Now, you see this area right if you guys have been in the call of duty scene especially on black ops 3 with mod tools uh somebody made town remaster from transit right and they did add this bowling alley as an area in the map now this map got a lot of similarities with transit it, it is as though like they were remastering transit zombies map at one point because we did have leaks and they added like the transit bus uh, in one of the multiplayer map in black ops 4 if i'm not mistaken all the way back in 2018 right and, and this got the bowling area it got the bank system which is looking similar to transit as well so this is like a love child of tra transit and over like it got a lot of transit ish uh, wives with it code once you have the six digit code in the correct order simply put that in in the bank vault yeah like especially this area right if you play transit you know this area is like very familiar
Now that bank vault will be available for you for the rest of the game. And anytime you take out a mangler, you'll get a key where you can enter the vault and then use it in one of the deposit boxes, just like you could with one of the armory boxes on Terminus and potentially get some really good loot. But again, your luck varies depending on the rarity of key as you can get green, which is the lowest, blue, which is the medium rarity, and then gold, which is the highest rarity. Another beginner tip is over on Terminus. There is a ton of shovels that you can find all around the map. They are highlighted and amazing mainly found outside and okay so in the pdd caves you get a shovel to dig up what baby oil is that is that what you guys gonna be digging <laughs> Yo, man, I swear to God. Bro. In the like, caves that lead to the bio lab, as well as on some of the islands that are out from the main part of the map, make sure you pick them up because around the map, there are a ton of dig spots, just like on Origins, where you can use your shovel to find some potentially useful items, including the chance of free perks. Definitely worth the few extra seconds it takes to dig a spot once you've ran over it, as you never yeah, yeah. know what yeah, you yeah, might yeah, find. Yeah, now, yeah, if we yeah, go yeah. back to gobble gums that we spoke about at the start of the video, you can hit the gobble gum machine for absolutely free whenever you oh, want wow. but once you've grabbed that gobble gum you'll then need to wait another five minutes of in-game time on that round to hit the machine again or by going to the next round the machine will instantly cool down for you to hit again and unlike black ops 3 zombies you can now carry up to three gobble gums at once and then activate them whenever Ever you want, including activating oh, all three at once if you really wanted to. Just press right on your D-pad on controller or whatever you've got it binded to on keyboard and then select the gobble gum you want and then press your action button to activate that gobble gum. Well, there are two very big important changes that Treyarch made with Black Ops 6 Zombies this year compared to Cold War round based zombies, which is that the Wanderfist machine will now no longer spawn in the map until you get past round 25. If you are under mm. round 25, the machine simply won't spawn in for you, but on Terminus, you'll find the Wanderfist at the end of this section of the boat, which is off the main island that you can get to using the tactical raft or by swimming if you... So yeah, this is one of the PDD uh, boat that sank, right? Yeah, holy choose to be that risky and on the map liberty falls you can find the wonder fizz on the alamo rooftop from round 25 onwards crafting table is back from cold war zombies allowing you to craft anything from lethal tactical score streaks and really wow. important pieces of equipment like self revives and armor plays one of the most important changes is that you can yeah honestly bro i don't know i feel like that and I'll be fully honest with you guys there's no point in lying i did not like this map when they first revealed it but now I feel like that this map is growing on me. Like I said, I think it's because we all were disappointed. Mostly all, not everybody, but mostly, uh, I mean, seeing everybody reaction online, it feels like everybody, right? But mostly everybody that saw it that was disappointed. I guess they're now looking at, the, at this map with a new lens and while having no expectations. And I guess that's why, like, I I'm also seeing some people say that they're like in the, the, this map. Although they just changed the lighting, simple stuff, they didn't do much. But the map feels kind of better right now. A little bit. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't played it, so... But just by looking at it, right? Just an observation only have three self-revives in one single game of zombies. On solo, you spawn in with a self-revive and you can only craft two total for a max of three in a game. If you max that out, you cannot create any more at all. And the mechanic oh, wow. added okay. in Cold War that returns is the exfil, where every five rounds after round 10, you can decide to exfil and leave the match with some bonus XP. And in order Yay! to do so, you need to go ahead and interact with the exfil prompt that will appear somewhere on the map, where once you've activated that, you then need to go to a specific area Area and take out a bunch of zombies within that time limit in order for you to actually escape. But if you mm. exfil at round 15 or higher, you will actually earn some additional whimsical gobble gums for exfilling successfully. But between round 15 and 29, you'll earn one whimsical, 30 to 44, two whimsical gobble gums, and round 45 plus, you'll earn three whimsical gobble gums. Okay, all right, not bad though, but honestly, it's not the worst zombies, but it's also. It's, I guess it's way too early to say. What are your thoughts on it? Check out this video on the screen because we also had the multiplayer video that go up as well. And multiplayer honestly is looking better than zombies. I'll say that. Check out this video on the screen. On the left, we got another cheater getting caught cheating in Call of Duty, guys. Check it out and I'll see you right there.